Hey Gemini, it's Suzanne with Sunny Force Tarot here to do your weekly reading for May 4th through May 11th. We're going to start with two oracle cards, one for you, one for your person. And then we're going to pull two Two cards from the Messages of Chakra Wisdom by yours truly. So this card is representing what this person would say to you. And this card is representing what you might say to your person. And then I'm using the Chakra Tarot. I have two of these decks, which I love. They're very colorful. Very bright and beautiful and it allows you to see a couple of things you know if you see a lot of one color that means something so if you see a lot of orange that's the sacral chakra and that talks about um, you know coming from an emotional or sexual space in other words, coming from a place of I want, all right? If you see a lot of blue, that's your throat chakra. And that means communication. That means something wants to be said. Something needs to be said. Something needs to be communicated, okay? So you get a couple different levels of information. It also allows you to see very easily if we get duplicate cards. In other words, the same card on both sides. All right, so Gemini, let's see what we have for you. Starting off, we have inspiration. Begin now. So there might be something that you are inspired to do, inspired to say, inspired to begin, inspired to create. Whatever it is, whatever inspiration you have, and it could be for yourself, it could be within this connection, it says begin now. I've seen this card twice. All right, so number 18 means it breaks down to a nine, which is about vision. So this is something that, you know, didn't hit you over the head last night. It's something you've been thinking about for a while and have vision on. All right, you see it. What does this person have here? We have direction. Where, where are you heading? So it feels like this person is coming to the end of something. And they're looking at where they're going versus where they've been. They're focused not on the past, but on what they're doing next. Okay? So, and so those cards really in a lot of ways go together. This person is focusing on where they're heading and you're beginning now. It's like this feels a lot like divine timing to me. So what would this person say to you? I can love without conditions. What would you say to this person? I can say why I was so confused and in the dark. So what that's saying is that, you know, there might be, as far as inspiration for you, there might be inspiration for you to begin now with this person because you might be able to see why you were confused and in the dark. Maybe because this person knows what they're leaving behind and now you know what they're leaving behind, something that you might have been in the dark about in the past. But this person is telling you that they can or are capable of loving without conditions. That's unconditional love. So are we going to see the Queen of Cups anywhere in this reading? Let's see what your energy is. We have Two of Pentacles. 
So that means that there is a choice for you. So that choice, you know, is something that you're not completely sure of as to what choice you want to make. Could be around this inspiration, you know, do I go forward with my inspiration possibly with this person or do I not? Where is this person's energy? We have the emperor. So I feel like with this direction here, as far as where is this person headed, I feel like they're very, um, they're very concentrated in the physical world as to what they're doing next in the physical world. So they're, they're in a very practical power of reason energy right now, trying to control what their future looks like. What is it that you want? Six of Cups. So you do feel some type of soulmate or deep connection with this person. This could be somebody that you've known for a long time. Doesn't have to be. It could be a past life type of connection. But I feel like you, you might be seeing um, signs when it comes to coming together with this person. What does this person desire? We have six of swords. Very, very similar energy here with the sixes. Six is the number of love and harmony. It's also the number of soulmate connections. So six of swords is this person, a little bit more masculine energy down here. Um, You know, I feel like this person is moving away from some type of conflict. What comes before the Six of Swords? The Five of Swords. Again, remember I said this person is not focusing on the past. They're focusing on what's next. So this person wants to move towards a more peaceful type of connection. They might have come out of a very, a very chaotic type of connection. A very hostile, chaotic connection or relationship wasn't good and that's why they're so much in this controlling energy if they talk to you right now it's going to sound very um, methodical very practical very um, very based in real world things okay all right so how's the universe helping you the world they're helping you to close up a cycle. And you might be closing up a cycle as well with begin now. So both of you are in the energy of moving forward, moving towards something new. What direction are you going in? So you might have just closed up a cycle too. Or maybe you're in the energy of trying to close something up and it's not quite finished yet, which is what the two of coins or the two of pentacles could mean. And then we have the ten of swords for this person. So how is the energy, how is the universe helping this person? You know, this person might have needed to go through a, a huge betrayal. Okay, in other words, they needed to be slapped in the face. <laughs> Not literally, of course, but they needed to feel something pretty hard in order to change direction, in order to go in a, in a better direction for them. It's like they weren't, they, this is not somebody that takes a hint easily. This is somebody that needs to be knocked over the head in order to get something. I feel like that's, that's why this card is showing up, which is a betrayal. So this person didn't necessarily take the hint. They kept something going until it literally betrayed them. And I feel like this is what they're leaving behind. The universe is here to help both of you leave something behind. 
Help this person to experience what it feels like to love without condition. Help you to, to give you some clarity on how to move forward and what's next. So let's get some clarification here. All right, so I want to find out inspiration for you. Two of Cups for you and the world. And then for this person here, let's take a look at direction. Let's take a look at Six of Swords and the Ten of Swords. All right, so inspiration for you, your heart's desire, the star. This is a card of Aquarius. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, you're inspired by what your heart desires. Makes perfect sense. This person, direction, two of coins. Okay, so this is the first card that we've had for both of you. You have two of coins in your energy right now. And this person, you know, with direction, it's like, do I stay in my past situation or do I move forward? And I feel like that's the same question you might be asking yourself. Six of Swords for this person. What direction is this person going in? The Devil. Capricorn. Card of Capricorn. <coughs> so this person is going towards what they desire. Okay? So are you. Okay? Okay? But this, you can see that this person has a lot of orange, which is a lot of sacral energy, okay? They're coming from a place of I want. So that means they feel like they don't have it right now. There's a lot of desire here. Look at desire to love without condition. This person wants, desperately wants to move towards a a more peaceful situation. But I feel like the devil is coming up because there's still some past mixed in for this person. Let's clarify that devil. Two of wands. Exactly. Again, sacral energy here. But the difference between the two of wands and the two of coins is that here, this person knows what they want. They know they want to move towards a more peaceful, loving existence. You know, they might see the new connection as more of a temptation right now or something that's quote-unquote wrong because they might be in the process of leaving somebody else. So they see the new connection moving towards love without condition as actually kind of a devilish energy right now. But I feel like that's based on what this person has been through because they know, they know they want to go in the direction towards love. And there's a ton of desire when it comes to this person. Two of coins clarified by, we have another six. Six of wands. Six of wands, you want victory in love. That's the direction that you want to go in. Okay, and you can see this dark blue or dark purple color here. We have it here, here, here. All of these sixes. We have six of cups, six of wands. Six of Swords. What are we missing? The Six of Pentacles. So what are we missing in this connection? For both of you is balance. It's like both of you don't know where to put your energy. Is it with the past or is it with the future? And Six, I mean, this is about a soulmate type of connection. We have six, 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 and it doesn't mean what you, and, and actually the devil is also a six because it's card number 15, which breaks down to a six. 
So this is a very heavy soul connection. And a connection where this person knows where they want to go, and so do you. World clarified by Four of Cups. Remember, this is the energy of the universe helping you. You know, how is the universe helping you? It's like you have to not focus on those uh, three cups, those three spilled over cups. The universe is trying to help you focus on this one ace of cups, the, your one and only. And then down here, ten of swords and eight of coins. So same thing. You know, the universe is saying, don't focus on what didn't work in the past. Focus on what can work in the future. What direction you want to go in. Where you want to be rooted. The red, which is the root chakra. Where this person is trying to decide, where are you headed? Towards something that works. Towards something that means love without condition. That's what this person wants. And so do you. You want what fills up your heart, what you're inspired by. You want to leave behind what, what confused you and kept you in the dark. You want victory in love. You want a soulmate connection with Six of Cups. And you want to be able to focus on that Ace of Cups and leave a certain cycle behind. That's simple. All right, Gemini, that is what I have for you for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you are looking for a more personal reading, just reach out. I'm always here. We'll get you taken care of quickly. I'll respond faster than you can imagine. <laughs> um, I make it a priority. I want everybody to feel as though they're my only client. All right. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. I wish you a lovely week and a healthy week, and I will talk to you next time. All right, bye.